whenever the devil come to try to sidetrack you and try to defeat you and try to lead you along the wrong track, God already got a plan to counteract the devil. And if you walk with God, that plan will burden your heart. And when the, when the devil's plan come against you, you already know what you're going to do next. Because you've got his plan in your heart. Let me tell you, the people in the world, the people in America, the liberals want to take out Donald Trump because he's God's you in the USA. But God's already got a plan, and I can say that to Americans. Donald Trump will win the next election as well. Give God a hand. Amen. And the liberal people in America, those who are for abortion, and for transgender and homosexuality and all these funny things will be humiliated because you will go on draining the swamp in the USA. But God will raise up you, not only in the USA, but in the UK, in many countries in Europe, and in South America. Even Mexico will have his you. Even South Africa will have a you. And these years will stand up and they will live out the prophecies of the prophets on the earth and destroy the works of Jezebel. Give your Jesus hand. Amen. I, I'm excited about that. But you see, the prophets need to pray and prophesy. And I prophesy, and that's what I did exactly now. The prophecy that I prophesy to you now will be lived out by the years. That God will raise up. I will never be a you. I'm, I'm a prophetic voice. That speak these things, these things into being. You know, when Donald Trump was voted in and he was running for election, the news wanted to bring bad report. And they, the news came through and I thought, ah, we prayed such, so hard, but this man is going to lose because the news proclaimed that he's not winning. And then I almost like lost my, lost my heart and I was here in church right there. And I went up to my room just to feel sad and feel sorry for myself because that's what God laid him out to pray for this man and it looks like it's not going to win. And when I entered my room, I already said to the guys, guys, God is God. I do not know, but God is God. I went into my room and as I went into my room, God spoke to me direct. He said, go back to church and pray. Get the people back to pray because I will do a miracle. I came down here. And I prayed. And I got the Paul and Vim and the guys together in Sepu. said, pray. God's going to do a miracle. And I tell you, against all the odds, Donald Trump won that election. Am I a Donald Trump fan? Not at all. He's just God's you on whom the anointing of the preachers came to drain the swamp and to defeat Satan in the USA. It will happen to the UK. It will happen to many countries in Europe. It will happen in Australia. It will happen in Mexico. It will happen in Brazil. And I pray it will happen in South Africa as well. In Jesus' name. It will happen in other countries in Africa as well. God will raise up His years. And the years will live out the sermons and the prophecies of the preachers. Give God a hand. Amen. And Jezebel will be defeated because it's not the Antichrist time yet. We still need to preach the gospel to so many people to come into Jesus, to come to Jesus, to come into salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Just want to confirm. Take your seat. On YouTube, I want to confirm this prophecy. The next election, Donald Trump will win. It's not going to be easy going. A lot of opposition, which we know knew it will happen. But he will win the next election, and he will keep on draining the swamp like he's saying. He's the year of God in the USA. The UK. So you will stand up very strong and defeat the enemy as well. And many European countries, the Jews will come forth and destroy specifically Jezebel and Ahab and their wicked plans. The same in Australia, and I add another one, the same in New Zealand, which need a Yehu there in Jesus' name. New Zealand and Australia. Africa, South Africa is difficult, I need to be honest with you, very, very difficult. There still need to be a great spiritual battle that need to be taken place in this country. For this you, the you that God has planned to stand up here, but it will come. It will come, but not that easy in this country. Do not know why. But in the rest of African countries, they will stand up many years for God. And they will fight evil. 
and they will fight all the plans of Jezebel. And I say again, sorry to say, in South Africa, the battle is a little bit tough. Do not know why. But that's why I say it to you, so that you can pray even more, that God will raise up a you that will live out the, the, the prophecies of the preachers in this country, in Jesus' name. Also, the same in Mexico, and the same in Brasilia. I do not know about Argentina. Argentina, they're facing a battle. They're facing a spiritual battle, a tough spiritual battle. Pray for Argentina. Pray for Argentina very strongly. I see South Africa face a strong spiritual battle as well. Because many people in South Africa get deceived by many preachers. The preachers in this country is not preaching what God wants them to preach. That's why I say we face a spiritual battle to pull down all the wicked strongholds and all the lies of many preachers in this country. Because many preachers in this country preach a lot of money. It's about money. I tell you, it's not about money. It's about Jesus. You're quiet. Sorry to tell you. You need to pray more for your country. We face a spiritual battle. Argentina as well. Pray for Argentina. We and Argentina are in the same boat. But God will give us the victory if we pray. Give God a hand. He will. I said what I said. God is good. In Jesus' name. And God will protect His people. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And Islam will not accomplish... What Islam, the prince of Islam, want to accomplish, especially concerning Europe. Islam will be defeated in Europe. The plan of Islam, the prince of Islam, which is a high-ranking demon, plan to take over Europe, especially France and Spain and even Italy, will be completely defeated by the Jews in that country. And Islam will be defeated in, the, in Europe. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Hallelujah. God is good. Good, 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 good. What is that land up there that's so called Paul, Iceland, where you got your friends? Iceland. God's going to do something in Iceland as well. God's going to raise up a you in Iceland as well. A strong you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The one state in America, I prophesy, that is sitting like this and wonder what's going to happen there, Florida will completely turn for God and will become the people that God wants them to be in Jesus' name. Take note the people in Florida. Florida will turn to God and Florida will do what God wants them to do in Jesus' name. It will be seen in the next election as well. God is good.